So the way you look for partner for your life, maybe it is not a very good example, but if you get the right partner, you can have a happy life, a prosperous and productive life. The same is true for your uh, internet service provider and your hosting service provider and your database service provider that if you find the right company then you have less hassle you have less problems your business your website whatever you have on the web is working is productive otherwise there's a breakup and when there's a breakup then there is ugly things happening you may be not available online and you are left high and dry with your files and your data so make do some research make the right choice okay so that you are not left uh, in the middle break up broken try to understand this is very true now i'll go into more details so you have to decide about your database service provider so these are some of the points which you can see on the screen that you should be looking at what type of hosting you need what type of site you are building is that a blogging site is that a resume site is that a personal site is that a business site what type of site you are building because depending upon the type of site you are building you will need the corresponding type of services understand the features and the, re the and the resources which you will get versus the promise versus the made available how the pricing is going to work and finally choose a host with which you can grow with you can proceed ahead right it's not that as you grow the pricing increases tremendously or other restrictions are there so all things should be clear before you start do your research do your homework this is this is very important then you proceed ahead then you select the database service provider let's go into more details so what type of hosting you need do you need shared hosting now if you are beginning shared hosting could be a good choice so there are lots of uh, accounts on the same machine and the cost is uh, amortized across those uh, accounts so it costs less okay but of course uh, there is less flexibility there is less area to play around to work around okay and there are more restrictions so in that shared environment you get to know how your business is going to grow and then you make the next step which is the virtual private hosting virtual private hosting is still you don't get a dedicated machine but you get more memory you get more area you get more flexibility you get more independence okay and you have more to achieve and then you have the dedicated hosting that i also mentioned in the prior module also so you have that server which is not in your premises but that server is at the database service provider premises they are taking care of it and of course you have the cloud servers which i have mentioned number of times before now remember that these questions or these different types of hostings you might be doing for yourself for your company as a private company or for a employer so you should be aware of all those things it is not just for you i i think you understand what i'm trying to say it's not on individual basis it is at the company level also so this is the different sites i was talking about so it's a blogging site uh, it should be uh, navigatable it should have contemporary designs it should have links and it should uh, engage the people okay if it's an online store of course there has to be online accounts also uh, security is important you need to have payment mechanisms storing the data or if you are lazy enough to uh, create your detailed resumes you can have this website where you can go there and with some clicks uh, you can make your uh, resume there others also make their resumes or you have a personal site you are not selling anything you are just interested in people knowing about yourself and then you have your business site when you have your business site keep in mind that with your efforts and hard work the business is going to grow 
so when you select a business site you go for a business site look at what will be the effect of growth on the uh, the the conditions which their database service provider is offering you okay understand the features and the resources that you require okay uh, registering the domain name you will get the email addresses uh, i have some personal good experiences and bad experiences also i purchased uh, uh, i need to host it something and they link my email address to a third party and the third party was not releasing the email address and that email address so i, I have to go to uh, another domain and they provided the email which was domain specific i would not like to, to give the names but you have to be careful even with all this work these things happen bandwidth and data security security is important and of course support support is very very important the company which i am referring to which uh, moved me to a third party email address they never ever reply to an email address to email request so you have to be careful okay and uh, free hosting is not usually always a good choice you have to go for a reliable service provider even if it costs a certain amount of money if you are doing serious work don't go for free hosting they have that many many things tied to it so and uh, why cheap hosting is has good value think ahead choose a host with which you can stay with which you can grow with which you can prosper and with which you will be productive and that will be the best investment you will make in your journey to become an experienced web based database application developer and a business owner thank you for your time